Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and TVG. Today I am going to tell you about the isMatch function. Sounds like a kind of boring function, but actually it's fantastic for data validation and we are going to go straight in. So here we are on Power Apps. I'm just going to pump this up a little bit. So what I've done is I've created some text inputs and I'm going to do some validation of those text inputs. Now, um, so I'll, I'll just get going to dive straight in. So I've got a, a, a text input. I'm supposed to put an account. Now, the account structure is supposed to be number, 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 digit. That means that if I actually pre the, press the play button, I can do one, two, three, A, uh, and that's true. But if I do one, two, A, that's going to be false. So how did I do that? I use the isMatch function. And if we look at the isMatch function, what we can see is it says isMatch uh, text account dot text, which is this field here. So you can see it highlighted um, and it goes digit, 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 letter and with ands in between. So um, so that's one way of doing it. I'm going to sort of show you uh, I will show you on screen the, the way in which you that there's loads more ways of using this structure, but they are kind of basic. So I'm just going to shove this onto the screen so we can see what's going on here. So these this is the um, the Power Apps uh, site. And what we can see here, if I scroll down to it, is that um, we can use these words here um, in order to uh, in order to um, you know, right into our formula effectively. So, um, but personally, I much prefer using regular expressions, mainly because people have written them already. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So if we go back to the, uh, if we go back to Power Apps, then what we've got is an email field. Now I haven't actually done the is match on this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do it on the postcode. So what we've got on the postcode is, um, is we have got a regular expression um, which tells us how the, the structure should work. Now, I didn't even write this. I just went on to a library and I'll just show you this place. In fact, it's the address is at the bottom, which is HTTP regexlib.com. I'm going to pop this onto the screen. Um, and you can see that if you can, you can type in the word postcode and you'll get the structure. This is UK postcodes. And all you do is you grab this bit here. You move across to, um, you move across the is match function and inside some quotes and we'll do this in a moment you actually put your your function so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to test out this function now what i've done which is a little bit more clever is i've changed the i've actually changed the icon so it's a uh, effectively a cross when it's unhappy and it will go to be a uh, a tick when it's happy so let's try that out then so let's see um h P one three two D Q. So that is a theoretical postcode, and you can see that it's flipped between the two. I think that's quite nice, uh, and you could obviously make, but essentially it's pushing out a true or false. Um, I'm going to do something similar um, and just show you that it's. Uh, but I'm going to do this one from scratch. Uh, and so in the UK we have something called National Insurance, National Insurance, um, and essentially um, it's just yet another way of um, having uh, valid expressions. So um, you, you've got these odd structures. This is the, the one of the structures that you can use. Um, and I can copy that and I can go on to National Insurance. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I think for the sake, uh, what should I do? Uh, I, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that, I'll grab hold of that again. I'm just going to do a copy and paste of that, um, which I think will appear up over here. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to go onto the formula itself. Um, uh, I think it's, I put it onto the icon formula. So it is Mac da, 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 da. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this from here and inside this, uh, the quotes, I'm going to pop this expression. Um, and it's not text postcode.txt, it's going to be text, uh, I think I called it ni.txt. Um, okay. 
And so I'm going to put a theoretical national insurance number, uh, NZ72-28-0. Uh, 73B. Um, I don't know if that actually it doesn't look like it worked actually, but uh, you kind of get the idea that actually, um, in fact, I don't know if I've actually done um, a great formula here. I'm just going to do a little check of this. Yeah, well, it is invalid at some point. So clearly, you know, you, you've got to make sure you use the right expression for the job that you're trying to do. So, um, yeah. So that's how it works. Um, and I think this is quite a good idea um, to, uh, it's a very simple way of doing it. You can actually write Azure functions, which is something I saw the other day, but actually this is really, really simple to use. So um, so I would suggest you, uh, you jump in. There's much further to go on this. I've not even really touched on, you know, the, these different areas that you can get into optional spaces all this sort of thing personally i would jump straight into regular expressions mainly because they've been written for you already and uh however the other ones are probably a little bit more understandable so it's you know it really is up to you um so thanks for watching and uh make sure you subscribe and uh i'll see you again soon with some more videos